Let's now look at how pointers and addresses work and why arrays are special. In this program, I declare two string variables, str1 and str2. You can create string variables using either syntax, but you need to understand that these two variables are by no means the same as one another. The first, str1, declared with a pair of square brackets, is an array. The second, str2, declared using the star operator, is a pointer. As we know, an array and an address are equivalent. So str1 is the address at which the array of characters in the string hello are stored. But str2 is a pointer whose value is not the string goodbye, but the address of that string. So str2 points to the address at which the characters goodbye are stored. This, I hope, should be clearer when I run the program. Let's do that now. So here you can see the results. Now, as you can see, when displayed as an integer value, the address of str1, returned by the address of operator, is the same as the value of the variable str1 itself. That's because str1 is an array, and an array is, in effect, an address. But the address of str2, returned by the address of operator, is different from the value of the str2 variable. Here the address gives us the location in memory of the pointer variable str2, but the value of that variable is the address of the array of chars to which it points. Let me repeat that because it's important. An array variable such as str1 is an address. In fact, it is its own address. An array variable is the address of an array. But a pointer variable is not an array. It's a variable that stores the address of an array. The pointer variable itself is stored at one address. The array is stored at a completely different address. Think back to the analogy I gave in an earlier lesson, where I need to go to a specific warehouse on a road containing many warehouses. On my index card, you remember, I had the address written down, warehouse 13. Now, the index card is like a pointer variable. It is not the location, which in our example might be the address of an array, but it stores a value, that is, the address, that lets me find that location. That's what a pointer variable does. Now, as for the warehouse itself, that, that is, the, the physical building, we can think of that as being like our array variable. It's not just a reference to the location, it is the location. Go back to my code and be sure that you really understand that. str1 is the location of the start of this array of characters, hello, in computer memory. The address of str1 is the location where that string of chars begins. But the value of the pointer variable str2 is a number that gives the location of the start of the array of characters goodbye in computer memory. The address of str2 is the location where the str2 pointer variable is stored. And if we just want to get at the data in the array, the address of the pointer variable itself is of no interest to us. The address of pointer variables will, however, be of interest later on, but for now, I'm only interested in the address of the array to which this pointer points. The value of str2 is the address of that array. The address of the first character in the string, goodbye. In other words, the value of the pointer variable refers to, or points to, the address of the array. If you're still finding this confusing, try playing around with this code. For example, let's try an experiment. I'll set str2, our pointer variable, to the address of str1. Let me do that now. The simple assignment str2 equals ampersand for address of str1. 
and run my program. So the value of the pointer str2 is now the address of the array hello. So str2 can be thought of as pointing to the string hello. Let's close that down. But instead of assigning the address of the string array str1, let's try assigning the array itself. So all I have to do in order to do that is get rid of the address of operator and make this a simple assignment. Let's see what happens now. Well, we get exactly the same results as before. That's because, as I've said before, an array is an address.